back with an update. I have been in California all of two months now, and uh, I'm still loving it. I love the atmosphere here. Um, you know, training-wise, this is, it's perfect for what I need. Um, and, you know, every single day I crawl into bed because I am exhausted. But honestly, I, I am in love with what I'm doing. I love it. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing that I, you know, like being so tired and worn out all the time, but I don't know. I'm not complaining. <laughs> um, but what's new? I compete in two days at uh, Glacier Falls, so that's going to be, uh, that's going to be good for me to kind of get out on the ice again. It's been, um, I haven't competed since nationals, so I'm a little bit out of competitive shape, but, um, I'm looking forward to the event, you know? Uh, Mr. Nix and Philip are really good at um, getting me in shape fast, so um, you know I feel like I definitely am there physically to do the programs. Just you know, there's the physical component and the mental aspect of the um, program that kind of have to mesh together to create that perfection. So um, we'll see how this competition goes. You know, uh, it's supposed to be a really good event. I think it's going to be pretty competitive, so I'm excited. Uh, to have some competition, um, but no, I mean for the most part, really, I'm just going out there to kind of get my legs underneath me and uh, focusing on myself. You know, right now is not the time for me to peak. Nationals is the time for me to peak. So, whatever happens, happens. But uh, I'm really excited, um, and also, you know, it's always good to kind of get that first competition out there with your, you know, with a new coach because uh, I haven't known Mr. Nix for that long. He hasn't known me for that long, so. Uh, you know, every day I learn something new about him and how he coaches, but uh, I haven't seen him under pressure yet, so, uh, and he hasn't seen me under pressure yet, so it'll be good for both of us to kind of see how each other deals with competition. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, no costumes yet. I wish I had costumes, but those aren't going to be ready until September or something like that, so um, if any of you end up going to Glacier Falls, you're going to see me in... Um, you know, just show costumes, nothing serious, so, but I'm excited, I'm excited to compete, it's, it's about time I, I get back out on the ice and try it out, so, that'll be good for me, uh, what else, I, um, I have some footage for you guys that, um, Philip took while he was choreographing my program, so I figured it'd be kind of fun for you to see what it's like in a lesson with the choreographer, see what's going on. Um, you know, and I'm sure a lot of my viewers have choreographers, they know exactly what it's like, but you know, for those of you that don't know and are just curious, uh, it's great. He is a genius, um, and I love working with him because he's always so positive and he always tells all of his skaters how amazing they are and, you know, how they can just be so great, so, uh, it's a really good, uh, boost in confidence when I work with him, so, he's been great so far, you know, um, Mr. Next is really the, uh, tougher of my two coaches, for sure. I mean, Mr. Nix is my main coach, but uh, he works on technique and uh, makes sure that I'm getting my job done and uh, it's very strict and straight to the point. And then there's Philip, who is um, really warm and kind-hearted and, you know, asks me how I'm doing and things like that. So it, it's, they're two totally different personalities, but uh, together as a team, I think it's great for me. It's a good balance. I need that. So, uh, it's going pretty well, but, uh, I will, uh, I'll try and get you guys some footage of my life around here and, you know, what my off-ice training is like and things like that, just because it's pretty awesome, so I think you guys should see. So, when I get that footage, I'll post another vlog, but for now, enjoy, and wish me luck. Bye, guys. One thing about the swans is they're so regal. They're just like royalty. So you're the royalty of figure skating this year. You just want to feel so regal, you know? Right, and increase the distance between your bottom rib and your hip bone. That, now without arching your back, you pull your body up and then you open your shoulder girdle. Right. Nice. Nice. Good. Yes. Embody the character, yes, beautiful, beautiful, okay. Back leg straight, take a breath, breathe in, and 
fold like a beautiful sponge. Show me your wings. Keep your arabesque still. That was beautiful. All right, good. Open up, open up. And chasse. Rocker. Rocker. Swing, drizzle. Pull. Counter, three turn. Rock, bracket, bracket. And run, run. Tombe, all the way down. Bure up as Odette. Soft arms. And go. Rolling Mohawk. Left forward rolling Mohawk. One, 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 one. And forward outside loop with the upper body. Releve. Nice. Cross. Toe step. Upper body. And chasse. Counter. Three turn. And illusion. Illusion. Okay, we gotta see if we can cover more ice. Here is the culprit of this whole entire thing. <laughs> he knows he's bad. Oh my god, look how guilty he was. <laughs> You're bad! <laughs> Wait, let's show. He did, however, turn them into slip-ons. <laughs> it's, it's the new look. He can totally make it work. Right? I mean, there's potential.